the Bible says that, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that the Christ's power may rest upon me. Tonight, in the month of February, we want to pray that the grace of God will, be so, will, will, will abound, will be sufficient for us. Whatever you are going through, Paul was talking about a tongue in his flesh, something which was troubling him. You may be going through a situation right now, a problem right now, and some problems, no matter how you pray, you have to go through it. But when you have the grace of God, you will go through and come out victoriously. And so whoever is on the phone line want to pray that the grace, the sustaining grace of God will abound in your life. The sustaining grace of God will abound in your marriage. The sustaining grace of God will abound with your children. The sustaining grace of God will abound with your finances and your health. In your mind, as a single mother, as a single parent, if you have caught case, that the grace of God will abound. It says that your grace is sufficient for me. So in this month of February, that the grace of God will be sufficient for us. That when even we are weak, we are strong because the strength of Jesus is being made perfect in our weakness. Meaning that when you are, you are the most vulnerable, when you think that you cannot do it, when you think that you are failed, when you think that there is no hope in sight, God's grace will be there to be sufficient for you and change situation. Meaning that God will fight your battles for you. So we are going to pray. The Heavenly Father, in the month of February, may your grace be sufficient for me. In my weakness, let your strength be made perfect in my weakness so that I can boast even in my weakness knowing that when I am the least strong that is when your strength is even much more powerful over my life because David allowed God's grace to be sufficient for him that's why he was able to kill the giant so tonight you know whatever situation that you are going through may the grace of God be sufficient for you and as the grace of God the power of God it becomes sufficient for you even in your weakness God will begin to fight for you and he will win the victory on your behalf you don't have to do anything all you have to do is to have faith so we are going to pray that in the year 2012 Father I don't want to fight my own battles I don't want to rely on my own wisdom I don't want to do my own things I want your grace to be sufficient for me in the month of February this battle that is before me this month mountain that is before me this financial stress that is before me this marital problem that I'm going through this health challenge that I'm going through this court case that I have this thing this problem that I'm experiencing in my mind and my family may your grace oh God be sufficient for me and as you pray this prayer you are trying to tell the Lord God Almighty that Father God intervene Intervene in my situation. Intervene in my marriage. Intervene in my with my children. Intervene in my finances. Intervene in my career. Intervene in my future. And see how the Lord will win the victory for you, even in Jesus' name. So let's pray that His grace will be sufficient for us. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Please mute your phones and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, according to your word, and the Bible says that you have exalted your word, above even the name of our Lord Jesus. So Father, your word says that my grace is sufficient for me and my power is made perfect in my weakness. Father, I pray that in the month of February, may your grace, may your grace, may your power, may your strength be sufficient for me in the name of Jesus. In the year 2004, may your grace, may your power be sufficient for me in the name of Jesus. Father, fight my battles for me. Father, help me, O oh God. Father, God, intervene, O oh Lord, in my marriage. Let your grace be sufficient for me. Concerning my children, Father, if you don't change them, I cannot change them. If you don't protect them, I cannot protect them. If you don't lead them, I cannot lead them. Father, let your grace 
speak sufficient for my children in the name of Jesus. Father, concerning my finances, Father, you are the God who is able to bless and make ways for people and will provide, oh God. So may your grace be sufficient for me concerning my finances, even in the name of Jesus. Father, concerning my health, every sickness, every ailment in my body, oh God. For your wasted are in my weaknesses, your strength is being made perfect in my weaknesses. So, Father God, let your grace be sufficient for me by healing me from all my diseases concerning every problem concerning every issue concerning every complication concerning every trials every tribulation i'm going through father god may your grace be sufficient for me even in the name of jesus as i go to the valley of the shadow of death may your grace be sufficient for me as i am being opposed by my enemies as they have they are fighting against me as they are conspiring against me as they are turning evil against me as the witches and wizards father may your grace be sufficient for me even in jesus name in my weakness let your strength be made perfect father fight for me fight for me oh god fight for me oh god intervene in my life intervene in my home intervene in my career intervene in, in the month of february on my in in my life, even in Jesus' name. Father, let your grace be sufficient for us in the name of Jesus. In Father, we pray tonight that thy, thy grace, thy grace, oh God, will be sufficient for us in the month of February. Give us a sustaining grace. Anyone going through hard times, anyone who is going through difficult times in their marriages, uh, in their finances, uh, looking for jobs and yes, uh, not finding one, going through health challenges, uh, going through problems, oh Lord Almighty, I pray in the name of our Lord, our Lord Jesus that this night your grace will be sufficient for them. And you yourself will show yourself strong in their weakness so that they can boast in their weakness because in their weakness, your strength is being made perfect. And therefore, because you are with them, they are more than conquerors. May they be more than conquerors. May they be more than conquerors. May they have victory. May they have triumphant over every despair. May they have triumphant over every issue. May they have triumphant over every cause problem. May they have triumphant over every health challenge. May they have triumph over every court case. May they have triumphant over every health challenges by healing them and showing yourself strong in their lives in their children's life father god almighty touch their children and may your grace be sufficient fight for them and let them hold their peace and give them victory in jesus name we pray god giving we thank you lord that in the month of february and in the year 2012 your grace your sustaining grace will preserve and sustain us by giving us the grace even when we go to the valley of the shadow of death we will not fear no evil because your grace is sufficient for us. We thank you tonight. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things, and we know that all things, not some things, not majority of the things, but in all things, all things, all things, works for the good of those who love him, who are called, according to his purposes for we know that all things we are going to pray the heavenly father in the month of february let everything that is going on in my life whether good whether bad whether ugly let them all work together for my good even in the name of jesus this is a simple prayer but a powerful prayer that father let everything that is going on in my life let us all work together for my good. For the Bible says that the brothers of Joseph, they intended evil against Joseph by putting him in a well and then selling him to Potiphar. And Potiphar's wife also uh, lied on him and was put in, in prison. But the Bible says that all things were working together for his good to the extent that when his brother later on met him, he said that you meant it for evil. You meant it for evil against me. But God turned it for my good. When God is turning everything for your good, no matter how the storms may come, no matter what the trials you are going through, whatever the challenges you are going through, you will come out victoriously. Satan, our adversary, he thought he was killing Jesus. What he didn't know, that when Jesus goes to the cross, he will die and he will be resurrected and he will ascend to heaven. 
and he will give the grace to millions of people to become Christians. If the devil knew this truth, he wouldn't have killed Satan. So I want you to know that whatever the devil is doing against your marriage, whatever the devil is doing against your health, whatever the devil is doing against your career, whatever the devil is doing against your destiny, everything is going to work together for your good. And so we are going to pray that every plan of the enemies against you will work for your good. Every plan of witches against you will work to your good. Every plan of demonic spirits, agents, and people who want your downfall, whatever they are planning, whatever they are scheming, whatever they are plotting against you, they are all going to work together for your good. In the month of February, everything that goes on in your life will work for your good, even in Jesus' name. For the Bible says that the steps of the righteous man are ordered by God. When your steps are ordered by God, whatever the devil does against you, it is going to work for your good. So let's pray that in the year 2012, everything works for your good. In the month of February, declare and decree that whatever your enemies are doing, it will work together for your good. They think that they are pl planning evil against your marriage, but it will work for your good. They think that they are striking your health and your children, but it will work for your good. Because God himself will work all things together for your good, even in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we pray tonight, declaring and decreeing in the name of Jesus that every plan of the enemy concerning our lives in the month of February, may all things, whether good, whether bad, whether ugly, may it all work together for our good. In the name of Jesus, in the month of February, we want to see things working together for our good. Everything that they may plan against our lives, against our children, against our health, against our finances, against our career, against our marriages, against our families, against us, oh God. May all things, whether good, may all things, whether good, whether bad, whether ugly, may all things work together for our good in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil has planned in the realms of the supernatural against us, may it work together for our good. Whatever the witches and wizards are planning and scheming against us. May it work together for our good. Whatever the demons are planning against us, may it work together for our good. Whatever traps there that they have set against us, may they fall into their own traps and may their plans all work together for our good. Whatever they have devised against us, Father, turn it all together for our good. Even in the name of Jesus, may everything according to your word work together for our good. Because we are called by you, O oh God, and we are your children, O oh Lord. So, Father, tonight, 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 turn everything around. Turn everything around. Turn the tables against our enemies. Even the things that they meant for evil against us, may it catapult us forward. May it bring increase to us. May it bring blessing to us. May it help us to know you better. May it strengthen us. May you open doors for us. May it push us our destiny. Whatever the enemy is intending for us in the year 2012, whatever the enemy is intending against us in the month, in the month of February, may all face Father, may all things work together for our good. Release your angels, oh God. Release your angels, oh God, to orchestrate and compose everything together for our good. That only the best, only the best will come in our lives, even in Jesus' name. Just as you turn us around for the good of Joseph, we pray that whatever our enemies have planned, whatever attack, oh Lord, against our lives, against our children, against our finances, against our destiny, against our future, against your, our marriages. May it all turn together for our good. By God Almighty, letting everything turn together for our good, even in the name of Jesus. Father, turn this around. Turn this around in the name of our Lord Jesus. Turn this around. For if you be for us, who can be against us? In Jesus' name, we glorify you. And we lift up your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.